Please welcome Bob Rowley. I didn't use the teleprompter, so you get my notes. So two things I promise you. I won't be as nearly as eloquent as Nancy, and I won't rip my shirt off and show you my physique. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Jan, Murfield, and Christy uh, for kind of shepherding us through this whole process. Y'all have been great. Uh, and I want to thank Joanne for being the event chair. And I want to thank DHD Films and particularly Sharice and Evan who put all these uh, films together for us and they did a great job. Thank you. I want to congratulate Nancy and Herb. Uh, Nancy, I loved hearing your story. It was really inspiring and fun. I didn't know all that. Thanks. Um, I'll keep my comments you know, relatively short. You know, I asked myself, you know, why am I here? I mean, why me? What happened? What, you know, what did I do to be here? And, you know, I look back and I think that there are so many circumstances beyond my control that I had nothing to do with. Um, like, you know, where was I born? I could have been born, you know, in some impoverished country with a despotic leader. You know, but I was born in the United States. Put a cherry on top of that, I was born in Texas. <laughs> I mean, I mean how, how lucky am I? You know, I had nothing to do with that. I think about my parents. You know, I could have been born to a single mom who was impoverished and didn't have either the wherewithal or the desire to pour her life into raising me. You know, but I was born to two parents who were incredible. They loved me, they nourished me, they made sure that I was, you know, working hard, doing the right things. They had great character, great values. I had nothing to do with that. It was just the circumstances that I was the beneficiary of. I think about my education. Um, you know, I could have been, like I say, we could have been in one of these countries where educations weren't free. You didn't get an education at all. But, you know, I, I, was, I was a product of public schools in Corpus Christi, Texas. And I think back on the teachers that poured into my life. And, uh, you know, I went to the, in the video, so I went to the Air Force Academy. I was really nervous about going to the Air Force Academy because, you know, if, if you know how that works, you get, a, there are certain appointments from each state. And I was so nervous that I was, coming from Corpus Christi and I wouldn't have the educational background to compete with these cadets from all over the United States who came from incredible backgrounds. But you know what? My education in Corpus Christi was as good as it gets. And what did I have to do with that? Nothing. Those teachers were there pouring into my life. Uh, even things like your family, your friends, and your co-workers. I mean, I can think uh, there are so many um, encounters that were not scripted by me uh, that I was the beneficiary of. I mean, I've been surrounded by workers, some of them are here, by family and friends that I've been the beneficiary of that I didn't script that. And I look back, uh, I'll tell this story a little bit, but one of our first big deals, I were down in Corpus Christi and we had, we'd been pretty successful. It was in the, when, when the oil and gas business was terrible. It was in the middle 80s. And we found a few 
fields. And so we decided we'd go on a journey and we'd buy a company. And we, went, we started going looking for companies to buy because we'd grown big enough to where we could afford somebody. And we went, they, back in those days, they called them data rooms. We went and looked at company after company after company. Every time we bet on a company, somebody bid a lot more. And I went to my dad and said, Dad, I said, this is ridiculous. You can't believe what people are paying for oil and gas products. And of course, all, most of them were his discoveries. And if you're a geologist and you find a field, it's almost like your baby. And you really don't want to get rid of it. But I convinced him, but our desire was to buy a company, buy, buy another company in the business. Well, we couldn't buy another company in the business. We ended up putting our products on the market, and Texaco came along and paid us a fortune for it, and that's how we ended up buying Omni Hotels and all these others. My point being is that, that was another thing that was really out of my control. I mean, my desire was to do the exact opposite. My desire was to buy somebody, but we couldn't buy somebody, so we sold. So I, I tell you these because I've had so many blessings in my life that I can take no credit for. And all I can do is say, thank you. And so I want to say thank you to all of you for being here tonight because um, I didn't know much about junior achievement. Actually, I, maybe I shouldn't say that. I didn't know a lot about junior achievement when they called me for this award. And, uh, but I've learned uh, uh, quite a bit about it since, and I see how they, Junior Achievement is uh, teaching kids about the value of character. They're teaching kids what entrepreneurship is. Uh, they're pouring into them. And so, you know, some of these students are gonna look back and they're gonna be thankful for where they are and the circumstances beyond their control that they were the beneficiaries of. So thank all of you for being here tonight and being a part of being the beneficiary to these kids that they have no idea even what you're doing. Thank you.